Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. A Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus, before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander.